Hi survivors, this is me Preppersan reporting to you. I want to talk to y'all briefly. I'm in the city. I have a lot of work to do out here in the city. Y'all know when I come to New York City, I don't be trying to be out here long. Do what I gotta do and get up out of here. I'm over here by uh, Radio City Music Hall, Rockefeller Center. They have a lot of, you know, Christmas decor, which is always good to see. It's my favorite time of the year as we celebrate the birth of Christ. It's time for giving. So I hope you guys can really enjoy this holiday season because everybody been through H-E-double-L. Um, yeah, I want to talk to you guys briefly about how people are really getting tired of all this nonsense foolishness, you know, with um, everything, with the M-A-S-K's, <laughs> the mandates, the constant, this type of V-I-R-U-S, that type of, you know what I'm saying? And all this, people are really starting to get tired of it. People are opening, a lot of more people are opening up their eyes as to what's really going on out here, which I'm so grateful to God. Uh, one, a very popular talk show host, um, he was for a lot of the things the left was um, um, what the left was pushing. You know, I have to be careful with my words. And But he starts seeing with this last uh, thing that gets you sick that they've been announcing that they just now starting to come out and say that it's just contagious. Allegedly, it's not so much where it's deadly. And he starts saying, is this something that the people who give this, you know, are they trying to push all this more because so they can get more money? And so he went, he's been going through a lot of scrutiny and the, the, uh, because he said that, but people are not stupid. People are not dumb. We have a sense of discerning God is on our side. God is waking up the masses and I'm saying this and I'm speaking this into existence and you say it and speak it into existence as well in your prayers, in your creative visualization. See people waking up, seeing people, see people coming together because the only way we're going to get through this madness and this evil, evilness is that we come together and um, you know we have to unite because the whole thing is to divide and conquer as long as they have millions opposed uh, to the mandates as long as they have millions who are condoning the mandates and whatnot and condoning the agendas then they they're winning but it's a shift it's a movement where people are like come on now even the ones who have gotten this they're like come on now we, we've done what you told us to do what you said that you know um to help ourselves and to help others and come on you, you keep telling us that we still got to go get more of this you telling us that we still got to wear this you tell us that we still got to get the to see if we have that or not it's just it's just and then you have those who have gotten it and um other things have happened so i'm not going to keep on going into that i'm just saying that people are people who were condoning what the left was pushing are now starting to open up their eyes in other different ways so let's keep praying let's keep prepping and um let's try not to worry so much watch this world watch the weather smell your water and y'all stay ready stay ready y'all see all these this crazy weather this is why i always say watch the weather uh the weather is what made me become a prepper the weather in texas all those hurricanes and floods y'all it's a lot going on it's not the weather now they rolling that out allegedly so pay attention to everything you know we have a responsibility to god we have a responsibility to the people we are responsible for our children our loved ones whether it be our parents our neighbors the elderly let's look out for one another let's love one another keep surviving sandhair.com